I think the thing that we find in terms of helping our brands, uh, as you say, battle back, is to really find the, the relevance and the, the, the passion uh, and in some ways getting rid of all the, all the luggage and baggage that comes with a lot of the marketing programs that we see a lot of the times so and try to understand what that real connection is between a brand and, uh, and their consumer and, um, and try to discover that connectivity. And we talked a lot today about social media. That's obviously the fuel that will drive any social media sharing of information between friends and what have you, which is so <clears throat> now powerful these days. But um, that's the case even if a brand wasn't necessarily ready for social media or wasn't um, uh, inclined to use social media. It's, it's, it's the case for any of the integrated marketing and communications that we do. Uh, and it's, it's tough. Um, it's a tough environment right now. People are um, obviously pulling back. Uh, uh, marketers and brands are trying to experiment with new media uh, as they are hanging on to some of their old models that in many cases still work but are being eroded. And um, it's really characterized by experimentation and volatility. And uh, for us, who uh, practices integrated marketing or non-traditional marketing, it's a, it's a great place for us to be because we've always had the orientation of thinking about a, a brand's problem first and then and only then getting to the tactical execution and being agnostic about that. So um, in this environment, um, you know, hopefully we're, we're going to be pretty well positioned for what we do on Facebook or they uh, uh, tweet on Twitter or something like that, that, there's, that, that they've solved their problem. And what we find is that creativity is in many ways now more important than ever. I think our single biggest challenge is to uh, make sure that we are uh, providing uh, value to our clients. It sounds trite, but it's true. The, the, um, the, the measurement of success, the pressure that our clients have on their margins, on their marketing budgets, <clears throat> and what have you, really more than ever before makes them and therefore us focus on what works and what's going to be effective and what will accomplish their goals. Sometimes it's branding goals, sometimes it's <clears throat> some form of engagement, sometimes it's sales, uh, but whatever it is, we have to be really brutal these days, more than ever before, because there's just not money or resources or the luxury to, uh, to have waste. Well, we are really uh, continuing to apply our, our model, which is, as I said, um, integrated marketing, we call it asymmetric marketing, and really trying to, to harness social forces, whether they're online or offline, on um, on behalf of our of our clients, whether they're issues, we work for you know a variety of issue campaigns and public affairs clients as well as corporate clients. And in this new environment where there are so many different ways to connect to a consumer, we've always had the or orientation of being agnostic as to how we would connect to them. Um, and uh, it, it is it is challenging to find the, the exact right way to apply what in some ways is a complicated model to our clients. Um, we think it's complicated because it's the right way to do it. Um, but we, you know, we, we constantly have to be looking out there for partners that are specialists in one area or another um, uh, because clients come to us really wanting a different way to approach marketing. And, and, and how that gets turned out uh, for every specific client is different in each case, and that, that's one of the biggest challenges we've got.